Hey there, Joey from Day Job Hacks YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to talk about how to turn $50 into hundreds of email subscribers and thousands of dollars in potential revenue from affiliate marketing commissions using ClickBank and Google Ads. So if you've been wondering how to run ClickBank offers on Google Ads and you have $50 and you wanna start out running traffic and making money, then watch this video till the end. I'm gonna get into every single thing you need to know about how to do it properly. In a minute, we're gonna go inside my computer. I'm gonna show you a sample campaign. We are going to go in, look at what I've done, the funnel I built, how I got email subscribers using Google Ads. I'm gonna show you how to turn $50 immediately into $150, and then how to turn that $150 into hundreds of subscribers and potentially thousands in commissions, okay? Now, I don't wanna sound like a sleazy salesman. That does sound pretty sleazy. I'm not trying to sell you anything here. You're gonna see everything you need to know. And you can also watch other videos on my channel. Don't forget to look inside the description of this video because I do timestamp some of my videos so you can see the timestamps for each of the sections of this video, okay? So if you think I'm rambling on, just check out the timestamps. Also, if you like videos about making money, media buying, affiliate marketing, all of that stuff, make sure you click the subscribe button, like the video, help me out on this channel, gives me motivation to do more videos like this. So without rambling on, let's go inside my computer. First of all, I wanna refer you to another video about Google Ads and some other training, just so that you know um, a little bit more. If you're just starting out on Google Ads, I do have another video here, how to run Google Ads for affiliate marketing. There'll be a link in the description as well. So I'm gonna assume you know a lot of information already. If not, this is a good video to check out. We also have in-depth training inside powerhouseaffiliate.com. Again, the link's in the description. We have a two-part training series here on Google Ads for affiliate marketing, specifically for affiliates. So this means you don't own the actual products you're promoting. And a lot of people think Google Ads is against affiliates. Well, if you do it properly, you can actually um, oftentimes uh, get, a, get your ads up and running and start making some serious money using Google Ads. So on that note, uh, let's talk about how to turn your $50 into uh, $150. If you go to dayjobhacks.com slash Google 100, you're going to get uh, offered a, prom a promotional sign up for Google Ads. You can see here you get $100 in ad credit. So if you don't already have a Google Ads account, immediately your $50 is gonna turn into $100 in ad credit. Now, if you already have a Google Ads account and you've never ran ads, I suggest you hit up their, their support, go to contact us and say, hey, I hear you guys are giving away $100 ad credits. Please, can I have an ad credit? They'll probably give you one if you ask, okay? now. Some people watching this video could care less about the $100, but I know a lot of people want that $100 because it's a free $100. Who doesn't want a free $100, right? So again, dayjobhacks.com slash Google 100. Now this might not be available in all countries, but for the most part, you'll probably be able to claim your $100 here, okay? Now, you have $150 in Google Ads credit. What are you gonna do with that $150 to turn it into subscribers and to turn it into commissions, okay? Let's first introduce um, uh, ClickBank here, okay? So ClickBank is a marketplace online where affiliates can come, they can grab offers. If you don't know what ClickBank is, again, check out my YouTube channel. I have tons of videos about ClickBank, so I'm not gonna ramble on about ClickBank, okay? Coming in here, you can also choose a category. Now, depending on what category you want to promote, um, you can actually you know, pick any category. Now, first, I should just highly mention a disclaimer here. Make sure you read the Google Ads terms, okay? Their rules, their policies. I'm not gonna get into the policies here because you as a Google advertiser should be reading the policies anyway. Don't rely on what I say. Make sure you read the policies and understand the policies or you will lose your Google Ads account, okay? There, disclaimer over, I've said it, now let's move on. So in this case, I've chosen, I've chosen the uh, business and investing category and I actually went with um, marketing and sales. The offer I actually picked was my own offer. I have an offer on ClickBank, but if you're an affiliate, this same theory applies here, okay? It works on any niche and I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you the funnel, I'm gonna show you the actual campaign and the results, okay? So don't worry, we're gonna get into all of that in this video. So let's say you've decided that you wanna run uh, any offer, let's say keto. You can see some of the other searches I've done in the past there, but let's just say you wanna run keto, okay? So what I would suggest is you come in here, you sort by gravity. This is gonna tell you the offers that get the most 
conversions for affiliates, basically, okay? So if you, if you can see, they're starting to advertise here, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, the gravity is what we're looking for here. The, here's a 442 gravity. That means there's at least, I would say, 442 affiliates making money with this offer. So if you wanted to promote this offer, you know it's converting for other affiliates because the gravity is high and you're gonna earn roughly, uh, you know, 45, right here, 45.99 per conversion. So per every sale you're, you're gonna make about $45. Here's another one, big gravity here, 194, $116 per conversion. These are the ones I would be going for, something a little more high ticket, um, higher commissions, higher average conversion rate, or hi higher average money per conversion. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so per, let's just say you've chose this one, or if you're if you're in the make money online niche, which I'm doing, you could go make money online and whatever. So we're gonna just pick an offer. So let's assume you picked your offer. You cannot just take your link here. Um, so to grab your link, you would just click promote and you'd enter your account nickname and you'd generate your hop link. You cannot just take this link and put it into a Google ad. You will immediately get banned. You will be banned for circumventing systems. Um, the, the domain itself is probably banned already. ClickBank domain is always spammed. Um, don't take that link and have it anywhere on your landing page. I'm telling you, you're gonna lose your, your Google Ads account immediately. Um, so a lot of training out there on, on YouTube tells people to take this link and put it on a landing page. That is not going to work either because Google can crawl your page and find it. So how do you actually run this, collect leads, and get commissions? This theory is going to apply to any type of product, whether you're an affiliate, product owner, or whatever. So let's do that now. What we're going to do is we're going to build a funnel, okay? So we need to build a squeeze page. We build a, uh, a sales page. And then it checks out to the actual product itself, okay? So let's see how you do that. In many cases, most of these offers are already the sales page. So you don't even need to actually build the sales page because these offers already have sales pages. So you just wanna get people on there, you wanna nudge them a little bit and get the actual offer owners here to actually do all the hard selling, okay? You're just trying to set people up to get into this funnel. So. Let's take a look at a sample funnel and some sample ads that I've ran. So here's the Google Ads account for the Powerhouse Affiliate Leads Funnel. Now, Powerhouse Affiliate is on ClickBank. It is an offer on ClickBank. Um, so it, it's the exact same thing here, okay? It just so happens that I own Powerhouse Affiliate. But at the same time, I'm, I'm still doing this with affiliate products. I'm still doing it, but I thought this would be a good example because it is in the make money online niche and many people think that make money online is completely banned from Google. Well, it's not if you do it properly and you actually don't make any bold claims and all that stuff, okay? Again, read the rules. So here we are, you can see uh, in the last 30 days, I spent roughly $115 Canadian, that works out to about $85, $90 US for 151 leads, okay? So I'm conversions are leads here, okay? So these are email subscribers. Out of those 151 leads, all I need is roughly a 2% conversion rate on a low ticket offer to make profits, okay? If I'm running a high ticket offer, I only need one sale out of 151 emails that I just got. That's not hard to do. The math here is simple, okay? So 151 leads, um, and I just have to convert one if I'm selling a product that sells, that gives me $115 conversion, which I just showed you an example in the keto niche that there is an offer that gives you 116 average. So that would be high, like 116 US would be almost, you know, 60% return on investment just on this funnel. But I've also got 151 emails. So how am I doing this? First, we'll do up the funnel, then I'll show you how to set up the ad and then the tracking, okay? So first of all, the ad, uh, or sorry, the funnel would start with a page like this. Here is a page that I'm running. This is the actual lead magnet, okay? So amazingly simple shortcut to build high traffic websites in as little as seven days, okay? That is the that is what I'm giving people here, free. You can have this absolutely free. All you need to do is enter your first name and your email. That is the page. How do you build this page, Joey? Like, what are you doing here? Like, this is like, how am I gonna do this? Well, um, here is an actual action plan right here. Powerhouseaffiliate.com slash action dash plan. 100% free training, 
Come here, build a cash-ready affiliate marketing website in 60 minutes or less, plus get another $100 in free ad credit on Bing ads, okay? So there's another $100 in free ad credit right there at powerhouseaffiliate.com slash action dash plan. It tells you exactly what I'm doing right here, how to build this page, how to set it up with my autoresponder, which is AWeber. So I'm going in here, people are entering their email, and let's just see what happens when you enter your email. You enter your first name, your email, and that is when I start pitching the product. So I'm gonna send them their freebie. Yes, of course I'm gonna send them a freebie. But at the same time, while they're waiting for that email to arrive, they next get a page like this, which is the next page. Thank you and welcome to the community. Now, if you're running a, a, an affiliate offer here, you're gonna say, thank you for joining. Uh, we've just sent you the free offer, but here's something really important. You have to check this out. And this is where you put your landing page for your ClickBank affiliate offer, or you link directly to the video sales letter from ClickBank. Again, a lot of the ClickBank offers have video sales letters. So this is immediately where the people are going to see that video sales letter. So even on your free freebie page, you could say, hey, enter your name and email to watch a free video on how to lose 50 pounds using keto diet, whatever it is. And then once they arrive on this page, they get the free video. And that's the sales video, which is going to be showing them the actual offer. And most of the time, you're gonna get more than 1% conversion rate, assuming you've done proper keyword research, which we're gonna talk about here in a second. But I just wanna show you the overarching strategy here so you understand the funnel. So this is what we see after you enter your email and immediately they check out and then they go boom, okay? That's how it works. So you've got a small funnel here. You have the squeeze page, give them a freebie, boom, it goes to a sales page, either direct link to your ClickBank offer or your own pre-sell. Next, it goes to the checkout, which will be the checkout of the affiliate offer that you're running, okay? That is how it works. So how do we get ads to this page? Let's do that now. I'm obviously t targeting people that want to build a website. I'm targeting people that want to make money online. So I need to make my ads appealing to people and I need to show my ads to people when they search for certain topics related to make money online. That's exactly what I've done with my Google ads. So assuming you got your free hundred dollars, let's just say you spent your hundred dollars. Now that free hundred dollars, by the way, is a hundred dollars US, which works out to about $130 Canadian. So I would have still been breaking even here, not spent a dime, and I would have got 151 emails plus at least two or three sales if I did it right. So uh, let's look at the ads. Coming into ad groups here in Google Ads, I'm going to show you how to set up the ads, but I, I first I want to show you the ads because a lot of people want to see the ads first because they already know how. Okay, so in here I click on ads and extensions. So you can see I've tested three ads. I've also tested two squeeze pages. I've also tested two um, sales pages after the squeeze page. And you'll see the results here in a second. But this is the winning ad. You can see number one CPA marketing training, easiest way to get started, start free. Notice I'm not saying make money online, okay? That is because of the rules of Google. I cannot make, I cannot tell people they can make a bunch of money online in a short period of time, okay? Just read the rules again and you'll know this. And that's why I'm focusing on getting traffic or joining the best training, but not talking about making money specifically. Um, same for diet. If you're gonna run diet, make sure you're not saying um, lose 40 pounds in 30 days. Don't make any claims at all. Just say one of the most healthy diets um, keto diet, see why it is sweeping the nation, free video to learn about the keto diet, whatever it is that you're going to say. And that's what you're going to do on your, um, on your first page that people see. So here I'm actually tracking the conversions by using a, uh, a connection. I'm connecting the conversion. So what I'm doing is every time somebody enters their email here on the next page, this is where it helps to have your own pre-sell because you can actually track Google ad conversions through here because you own that domain. 
if you put it direct link to ClickBank, it's gonna be very hard for you to track that event when they enter their email. You can still do it, but it, re it requires a little more in-depth coding to understand how to track that event as soon as somebody enters their email and goes to the next step in your funnel. So what I've done is I've actually just put Google Tag Manager on here, again, explained in my in-depth training inside Powerhouse Affiliate about Google Tag Manager. I'm not gonna go through it here but it basically fires the conversion back to Google Ads so that Google Ads can see that the 138 people here came from this ad um, at a cost of 77 cents Canadian per email, okay? So with Google Ads, you can only run a direct link to your actual landing page. So for example, if, you're, if you have your own funnel, you're gonna have to put your final URL here. So I have a rotator script that I use that I rotate landing pages. Now this, I do not recommend this to anybody starting out on Google. Do not start with a rotator script, okay? You have to have an account that has been very active uh, and I have a very active account. You should be linking directly to your squeeze page, okay? You should be linking directly to this page, no redirects, nothing, no tracking links. You have to do direct tracking on your website and how you do that, this is where I'm getting into a little bit more advanced stuff um, that you'll learn in more events, trainings or other videos on my channel. But what you're gonna be using is a third party tracking system and I highly recommend you use third party tracking. If you wanna be lazy and you don't wanna track, then fine, set up your page here, click through, spend your 150 bucks on whatever, getting traffic here, but you're not gonna see data like um, you're not gonna see data like I see inside CPV Lab Pro. This is the, the program I use for tracking internally my own traffic. I can see everything. And this means Google often misses conversions. Um, sometimes ClickBank even you know doesn't have the right data. So what I wanna see is everything inside CPV Lab Pro, okay? This is where I see everything. Now there's other trackers out there, there's volume. There's Funnel Flux, there's Thrive Tracker, a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, but I use CPV Lab Pro, it's self-hosted, and it also fires conversions back to Google without connecting to Google and taking data from my Google account. So it actually posts all my conversions for me. There's a whole bunch of training on that in CPV Lab Pro. So again, I'm not gonna ramble on, but you can see here that um, I can now start to see stats in my landing page sequence campaign. Um, of what keywords are running. I can see what ads are converting, uh, which one converted best. So you can see here, this was uh, this ad creative converted best. Which page is doing better out of my squeeze page after opt-in and the checkout page, okay? So I can see a whole bunch of data in here and which ones are running best so that I can split test my pages. I can split test each part of my funnel along the way. And that is extremely important if you want to actually really make thousands of dollars online, you wanna make sure every part of your funnel is being tested along the way, even the checkout. If there's more checkout links or there's more offer links from your affiliate program, make sure you're testing all of those offer links and, and checkouts to make sure that you get the best one for your funnel. So now let's just set up the ad itself and how I would go about setting up this campaign. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come into Google Ads, you're gonna click on new campaign. It's on the left side. And once you click on new campaign, you have several options here for setting up campaigns. What I'm doing here is I wanna generate leads, okay? Um, you can also do sales. You're gonna get pretty much the same options, but I'm collecting leads here. And I wanna do this one here, search. Now I've also done display ads, I've done video ads, YouTube, all that stuff. More videos coming about that, more case studies coming all the time on these traffic sources. Today we're gonna to talk about search ads. Click on search ads. Now in the past I've uh, you know talked about search ads but I'm gonna talk a, a few different things here today. So here is where I'm gonna put my website. This is where you would put the actual squeeze page. Um, in this case I'm just gonna put Powerhouse Affiliate because it's just an example. Um, so you put your squeeze page there and now we're going to continue. The next step is setting up the actual uh, general settings. So here you can call it leads for whatever you're doing. If you're doing keto, you could do leads keto, you could do leads investing, you could do leads financial, leads auto insurance, whatever it is, here it is, leads make money. Actually, I don't even wanna say that, I'm just gonna say leads powerhouse. 
Um, here, I'm gonna turn off the display network. Google search partners, I would say leave on. Now in the past trainings, I've always said turn off Google search partners, but actually recently I've started testing Google search partners and it's actually not that bad. Um, so I would leave that on for now. You can always come back and turn it off, but basically these are partners out there that give results um, search results on their website and they come from Google ads okay so basically your ads could show up on eBay they could show up on Amazon they could show up on other major platforms and this is where you can get that traffic and it's much cheaper you can get cheaper leads and if it works well for your product then I highly recommend you first start it with it on and then turn it off later if it's not running if it's not converting and I can show you that in another video later or you can just ask in our forum and I'll show you exactly where to do that but I would leave it on for now, but make sure you're watching to make sure it converts or not. Show more settings, start date, campaign URL. Here, you're going to set your tracking template. Now, if you're using uh, CPV Lab, they have a full documentation on how to set up your tracking template. I'm not gonna get into that, but I always use a tracking template here to send data back to my, my CPV Lab. Um, all that is explained on CPV Lab Pro or whatever tracking platform you have. Uh, I'm gonna run ads all day here. Enter location. You would choose the location you want. Make sure for the location options, you always check presence, people in or regularly in, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it for Canada for now. Um, coming down, English is already selected. I'm not gonna use audiences in my search ads. Budget and bidding, you can set that whatever you want. If you have $150 to work with and you wanna run it over 15 days, put $10 a day, okay? If you want to do it over seven days, $20 a day. Easy math here. Oh yeah. Okay. Coming down, bidding. Um, what I'm going to start out with is actually a manual bid because Google has no data. They're setting up a target CPA based on some other campaigns I'm running, but they don't have any idea what my target CPA should be for this campaign. So don't start with target CPA because basically Google will just try and guess uh, and try and automate your ad spend based on no data. So what I usually start out with is starting out with a portfolio of uh, manual cost per click. And I'll usually not even try and increase conversions with enhanced EPC because again, they don't have any conversion data yet. Set a manual PPC, uh, CPC so you can bid exactly what you want and, and try and get keywords to convert before you come in here and start switching it to a different strategy, but definitely you want to use eventually their target CPA is my favorite. Eventually after you say have 50 to 100 conversions, you want to come in here and you want to set target CPA. So now Google will target to whatever price you want to set. So if I want my, my uh, email leads to come in less than a dollar, guaranteed probably 90% of the time Google will be able to do this for me. Um, just based on my own data and my own testing, millions of dollars in spend, they always are able to get my target CPA very close to what I want them to get it to, depending on the fact that I actually first gave them a bunch of data first, okay? They're not going to get that just by starting with target CPA. So hopefully that's clear to everyone. Set that there and let's move on. So show more settings. Conversions, I always do upload conversions because like I said, I'm using CPV Lab Pro and it uploads conversions, all explained on CPV Lab Pro. Not gonna get into that here. And call out extensions, I always use call out extensions. This adds more little snippets to your ad, which gets you higher click through rates. So add call out extensions. I don't really use site link and call extensions unless I'm running specific ads to my own products or pay per call offers right here, call extensions. Save and continue, moving on. So here's where we can set our bid for the keywords. Um, here I'm going to set uh, a bid of say 20 cents. It doesn't matter, well it does matter, but depending on whatever uh, niche you're in, it might be higher, it might be lower. I usually start a little lower and then move up if I have to, if I'm not getting enough traffic, but normally I usually get um, decent amount of data for below a dollar. So you can go a dollar or less starting depending on how competitive your niche is. Um, keywords, here's where it, it, you start doing some keyword research. Now, if you only have $150 to spend, then you should probably not have 150 keywords here. You should probably have 10 to 20 tops, okay? So 
So where do you get the keywords? Well, first you could enter your domain here and you could get keywords. So if you hit that, it's going to uh, give you some keywords. Actually, this has no keywords for some reason. It probably just glitched out on me. But if you enter any email or any domain here, you'll usually get keywords. You can even enter your competitor's domain here and you'll get a bunch of keyword ideas, okay? So let's just do that here. Let's put um, Wealthy Affiliate, which is actually a similar product. And let's see if they get keywords here. So as you can see, you can see a whole bunch of keywords that I could use in my campaign. That's one strategy of getting keywords. Another way is to just go to Google and start typing make money and you'll see a whole bunch of different keyword ideas. Or if, it's, if you're doing keto, you'd say type in keto and you'll probably get a bunch of ideas. These are the top recommended searches by Google just based on the words I'm starting to type, okay? These probably have a lot of searches. Um, another way is to use the Google Ads tool, which is actually the best thing to do. Come into Tools and Setting and go to Keyword Planner. I usually open that in a different pay, uh, tab, and I can start doing my keyword research right here. Now, this tool will give you kind of results based on what Google thinks are good search terms. So you can discover keywords by entering and then get results. So if I want to do make money, I can just hit get results. And here we go, whatever it is, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of ideas and it's gonna show me the average monthly searches, the competition, top of bid, all that. Another tool I always recommend is SEM Rush. I've done a complete video on that and it's in the training inside Powerhouse Affiliate, so I'm not gonna go into it. SEM Rush shows you what your competitors are running. So if you go to dayjobhacks.com slash SEM Rush, you get a free seven day trial of SEM Rush. It basically shows you what your competitors' ads are, it shows you what keywords they're targeting. It shows you everything you need to know to be successful, okay? So basically it's a spy tool for Google search ads um, and display and SEO and all that stuff. So it's a great tool. Um, coming back, so let's just say I've chosen those keywords. I would actually do a lot of research here, okay? If you wanna be successful here, make sure you're looking at these keywords and don't just like pick any keyword that's coming in, like affiliate links, makes no sense. Why would I be targeting that? I want to look for like people looking for specifics based on what my squeeze page has. So I'm not gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be doing like, I'm offering free training on website development. So I wanna do keywords like CPA training, CPA marketing training, stuff like that, right? Um, I wanna do you know, how to make money as an affiliate. So these are keywords like long tail keywords that I can use that are very specific to my actual offer here. Shortcut to build high traffic websites. So even high traffic websites, how to build or how to get traffic to a website, right? That is the type of keyword I wanna search here. Oh, that's the type of keyword when people are searching, I want people to do that. So I want them to see this, how to get traffic to my website, okay? People are searching that. In fact, if I go up here and I just put in how to get traffic to your blog, okay? So you're, how do you get traffic to your blog? How to get traffic to Shopify store? How to get traffic on YouTube? All of these things are potential searches I could target. So how to get traffic to your blog? I could take that. You can see some other people are already putting up ads. So that's a good sign. That's a good keyword. Let's put that in here. How to get traffic to your blog. Okay, so let's say I got 10 keywords there, just doing this simple strategy. Another tool you can use is alsoasked.com. Okay, so this is a little bit of research you're gonna be doing. You come in here, you're gonna find keywords. T type in here, also ask, so you put in like uh, affiliate marketing training. So here are the results and you can see there's just a ton of different questions that people ask related to affiliate marketing. I could put how to get website traffic here and I'd probably get a ton of different questions. These are all pulled from different various sources on the internet. You can use these as keywords in your search ads. Okay, coming down, let's go to uh, save and continue. Let's just assume we got our 10 keywords. Now we're gonna create our ad. So here's where you create your ad. It's already pulled a bunch of stuff from my first ad. Uh, for my first ad, it's pulled up from my website. So you can actually use this as a dynamic search ad or uh, a responsive search ad. Sorry, that's what they call it here, a responsive search ad. So basically it'll swap out all of these different headlines, all these different descriptions and find the best case scenario that works for you. 
Mind you, I don't think it works too well, to be honest, so I always switch back to text ads. Right here, switch to text ads. Yes, switch. Save and continue. Now I can create my own ads, what I think is going to work, okay? Now, not uh, saying you shouldn't try a responsive search ad. Google's gonna constantly recommend you do try a responsive search ad, but in this case, we're just going to set up our own text ads. So free affiliate marketing, free CPA marketing training, Powerhouse Affiliate. Obviously, I'm gonna be changing my ads. I already showed you the ad that's working, so I'm not gonna do any crazy stuff here about ads. Try and use some numbers, try and use results, maybe testimonials, and a serious call to action, okay? So instead of Powerhouse Affiliate Free CPA, I would say get free CPA marketing training here now, okay? Or join free, enter your email, whatever it is. You want a call to action here, you wanna tell people what's next. Um, so then I'll save and continue. Um, again, final URL, make sure that's the link to your squeeze page. Coming in, save and continue. I've showed you the ads already in here. So basically, it's ready to go. Uh, you're going to start seeing traffic coming to your landing page or your squeeze page. You're going to start seeing results in your email autoresponder. You're going to see how many leads you got, assuming you're using a tracking platform like CPV Lab Pro, or you can track it all inside using Google Analytics. So if you want to learn more about tracking, check out this one here, webinar on how to track affiliate campaigns for maximum profit. Everything you need to know about affiliate tracking, CPA networks, it all, it all uh, gets described in this video. There's other videos here, conversion tracking, Bing ads, same theories apply here on Bing ads versus Google ads. They're very similar platforms. Um, so you can actually um, learn about that here on my YouTube channel as well. We have some very in-depth training courses in here on tracking, on how to set up your uh, affiliate product uh, campaigns. We have courses in here that you can check out on affiliate marketing, monetizing your websites, list building, cost per action or CPA affiliate marketing, advanced traffic techniques, start the course, native ads, a whole bunch of stuff in here inside if you want more information. But again, everything you should need to know is already described in the video I'm doing right now. So grab your 150 bucks, set up your funnel, collect some leads, start converting those leads. Now this didn't even talk about what you can do with your email leads after you've collected their email. You can start emailing these people more, more stuff. You can send them content from your blog. You can set up a blog, you can start creating blog posts and emailing your, your, your subscribers. You can start sending them offers. So not only are you converting them on this front end system or funnel that you've created, you can also start converting them through your email follow-ups, okay? This is the way to do affiliate marketing on Google Ads. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do tons of videos like this. This is what works. You can see I'm actually spending money doing it myself. This is how you do it, okay? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.